ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸಿದ ದಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ತೊಂಬತ್ತೈದನೆಯ ಪದವಿ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಸಮ್ಮರ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಅನರ್ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಕಲ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡೆಡಿಟೇಷ್ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ವೇವರಿಂಗ್ ಕಮಿಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ವಾರ್ಮೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಎಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದೈ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೂಲಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೈ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ರಿಸೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಜಯ ಭಾರತ ಜನನಿಯ ತನು ಜಾತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಡಗೀತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಕವಿ ಕುವೆಂಪುರವರು ನೀಡಿದ ಗಣನೀಯ ಕೊಡುಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಂತು ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಡಗೀತೆಗೆ ದನಿಗೂಡಿಸಲು ಕೋರಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇವೆ
ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವು ಸುಸೂತ್ರವಾಗಿ ನಡೆಯಲು ಭಗವಂತನ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ತುಂಬ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಯಾವುದೇ ವಿಘ್ನಗಳಿಲ್ಲದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವು ಸುಸೂತ್ರವಾಗಿ ಜರುಗಲೆಂದು ಗಣೇಶನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸಲು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಷ ಮತ್ತು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಲಾವಣ್ಯರವರನ್ನು ಬರಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ರೈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ವೊಕೇಶನ್ Thank you, Dr. Lavanya and Dr. Varsha for that moving rendition that sent a reverent tone for our event, reminding us of the importance of unity and reflection. Let us give them another round of applause for their beautiful contribution to today's proceedings. 
It is now my distinct honor to invite to the stage a revered figure whose wisdom and leadership have left an indelible mark on our institute. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Chandrasekhar Sir, Professor, Department of Surgery and Student Welfare Officer to deliver the welcome address. Good morning. Ellari ko namaskara. Vedi ke mele aasina ragi rovanta ella ganne re. Ago Vedi ke Mumbai ka dalir rova ganne re. Both ka rundo dovre, both ke taro rundo dovre. Padavi padi yuva padavi dovre matto poshe kare. Aur matto sambandhi karo matto patri ka prati nigra ago vidyarthi kare. Karnataka da modala matto prachistita Vedi ke college jada namma Mysore Vedi ke college jo. Utambat tai dene padavi pradana samarama vanno. ಈ ದಿನ ಹಮ್ಮಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲಾಗಿದೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾಗಿ ನೂರು ವರ್ಷಗಳು ತಂದಿದ್ದು ಶತಮಾನೋತ್ಸವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಸಂಭ್ರಮಾಚರಣೆ ಆಚರಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದು ಈ ವರ್ಷದ ಪದವಿ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಹತ್ವ ಪಡೆದಿದೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಈ ದಿನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಾಬಾ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಅವರ ಜಯಂತಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಮೆರುಗು ಬಂದಂತಾಗಿದೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷದಂತೆ ಈ ವರ್ಷವು ಪ್ರದವಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಸಮಾರಂಭವನ್ನು ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಅಲುಮಿನಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ನ ಸಹಯೋಗದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಸಮ್ಮರ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಎಂಬ ನಾಮಾಂಕಿತದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಆಯೋ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಲಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ಬಾರಿ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರವೇಶಾತಿ ಹೊಂದಿರುವ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಅಂದರೆ ಅನರ್ಘ್ಯ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ನ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ನವರು ಐದು ವರೆ ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ನಂತರ ಪದವಿ ಪಡೆಯುತ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆ ವಹಿಸಲು ಒಪ್ಪಿ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರುವ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಡೀನ್ ಮತ್ತು ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾದಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ದಾಕ್ಷಾಯಿಣಿಯವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರುವ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಇಸ್ರೋ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮಾಜಿ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಆಲಿ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬೊರೇಟರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ನ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಸದಸ್ಯರಾದ ಪದ್ಮಶ್ರೀ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಆತ್ಮೀಯವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಪಕರು ಹಾಗೂ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರಾದ ಮತ್ತು ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಅಲುಮಿನಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ನ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎನ್ ದಿನೇಶ್ರವರು ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರನ್ನು ಸಹ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಕೋರುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮತ್ತೊಬ್ಬರು ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಅಲುಮಿನಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ನ ಆನರರಿ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆದಂಥ ಗೌರವ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಹಿರಿಯ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಅಲುಮಿನಿ ಆದಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಮೂರ್ತಿಯವರನ್ನು ಸಹ ನಾನು ಈ ಸಭೆಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮತ್ತೊಬ್ಬರು ಅತಿಥಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಸವಣ್ಣ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಬೋಧಕರ ಸಂಘದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಪಕರು ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಕಾಲಜಿ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರು ಅವರನ್ನು ಸಹ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಆಯೋಜಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬರಾದಂಥ ಪ್ರಾಧ್ಯಾಪಕರು ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮತ್ತು ಮಹಾಸಂಘದ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಯಾದಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಶಿಧರ್ ಎಚ್ ಬಿ ಅವರನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟನೇ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ನ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಯಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಸಂಘದ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಯಾದಂಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸಹ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಯಾದಂಥ ಸುಮಂತ್ ಚಂದ್ರಮೌಳಿ ಅವರನ್ನು ಈ ಸಭೆಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರುವ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಬೋಧಕ ಮತ್ತು ಬೋಧಕೇತರ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾರಣಕರ್ತರಾದಂಥ ಪದವಿ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಲು ಸಿದ್ಧರಾಗಿರುವ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟನೇ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ನ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಕಣ್ತುಂಬಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಆಗಮಿಸಿರುವ ಅವರ ಪೋಷಕರುಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಬಂಧಿಕರುಗಳ
ಪ್ರಾಯೋಜಕರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಆತ್ಮೀಯವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿರುವ ಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಗಳಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಆತ್ಮೀಯವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಕೊನೆಯದಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೂ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಬಯಸಿ ನನ್ನ ಈ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಭಾಷಣವನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜೈ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಭಾಷಣ ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಪ್ರತಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆನ್ನೆಲು ಬಾಗಿ ನಿಂತು ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನ ನೀಡಿ ಮುನ್ನಡೆಸಿದ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರುತ್ತೇನೆ ವಿ ಸಿಂಬೊಲೈಸ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬೈ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆರಿಮೋನಿಯಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಮೊರೇಬಲ್ ಈವೆಂಟ್ ಮೇ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ವಿ ಕೆಂಡಲ್ ಟುಡೇ ಗೈಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪೆರಿಟಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಲಮ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ of this momentous occasion which is coinciding with ambedkar jayanti it is fitting that we pay homage to dr b r ambedkar a visionary leader whose ideals resonate deeply with the ethos of education and empowerment i would like to invite the dignitaries to join us in placing flowers at the photo of dr ambedkar symbolizing our reverence for his legacy ಸಾಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಕ ನಗರಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಡಿನ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಾರಂಪರಿಕ ನಗರಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ಪರಂಪರೆ ವಿಶ್ವಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯು ಜಗತ್
ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಗೆ ನೂರರ ಸಂಭ್ರಮ ಈ ಸುಸಂದರ್ಭದ ಅಂಗವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಇತಿಹಾಸದ ಪರಿಚಯ ನೀಡಲು ಬರುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ್ ಜಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಮೈಸೂರು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಹಾಗೂ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಶತಮಾನೋತ್ಸವದ ಸಂಭ್ರಮ ಇಂತಹ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಯನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಪರಿಚಯಿಸುವ ಭಾಗ್ಯವು ಇಂದು ನನಗಾಗಿದೆ ಆದರೆ ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಟ್ಟಡ ಅಥವಾ ಸ್ಥಳದ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ನೆನಪು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಮೊದಲು ಈ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ನೆನೆಯ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಬಹುಶಃ ಆ ಇತಿಹಾಸವು ಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಹ ಮಹಾನ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ನಾಲ್ವಡಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕರು ಆಧುನಿಕ ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ತಪಾಲಾರಂಭ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ಇವರು ಹನ್ನೊಂದನೇ ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಂಹಾಸನ ಹದಿನೈದನೇ ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ರಾಜರಾಗಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಮೂವತ್ತೆಂಟು ವರ್ಷದ ಆಳ್ವಿಕೆ ಅವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆ ನೀಡಿದ ಕೊಡುಗೆ ಅಪಾರ ಕಲೆ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಮಹಿಳಾ ಮತ್ತು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನೀರಾವರಿ ಕೃಷಿ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ರಕ್ಷಣೆ ಕಾನೂನು ಸುವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಕ್ಕೆ ನೀಡಿದ ಕೊಡುಗೆಗಳು ಅವರ ಸಮಯ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ಹಾಗೂ ದೂರದೃಷ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಇವರ ಅಂತ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲದಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡುಗೆಗಳ ಪಟ್ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಾದ ಇವರ ಹೆಸರಿನಿಂದ ಕರೆಯಲ್ಪಡುವ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯು ಆ ಮಹಾನ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗೆ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದ ಮೇಲಿದ್ದ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸುವ ಆ ಕಾಲದ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣದ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಿಳಿಸಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯೇ ಒಂದು ರೋಚಕ ಕತೆ ಇದರ ಇತಿಹಾಸವೇ ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ರೇರಣೆ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶವನ್ನು ಆಳುತ್ತಿದ್ದ ಕಾಲವದು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವೇ ಹೇರಳವಾಗಿದ್ದ ಆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ವೈದ್ಯರ ಹಾಗೂ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣದ ಅಗತ್ಯವನ್ನು ಮನಗಂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನವು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಈ ಮಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ತರುವಲ್ಲಿ ಮಹತ್ತರ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟಿತು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಮೈಸೂರು ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಾಗ್ಯೂ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣದ ಮಹತ್ವವನ್ನು ಅರಿತಿದ್ದ ಅಂದಿನ ಮಹಾರಾಜರು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಎಂಬತ್ತೊಂದರಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಸಹಾಯಕರಿಗೆ ತರಬೇತಿ ನೀಡುವ ಗುರಿಯಿಂದ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಮದ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಬಾಂಬೆ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗಲು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ವೇತನ ನೀಡಿ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಪಸರಿಸುವ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನದ ಬುನಾದಿಯಾಯಿತು ಆದರೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ವಸತಿ ಸೌಕರ್ಯವನ್ನು ಒದಗಿಸುವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮದ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಬಾಂಬೆ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ನಿರ್ಬಂಧಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇರಿತು ಅದರ ಮುಂದಿನ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವಾಗಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ಉಪ ಸಹಾಯಕ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಕರ ತರಬೇತಿಗೆ ಜುಲೈ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಹದಿನೇಳರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ಅಂತಿಮವಾಗಿ ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಸ್ಥಾನಮಾನವನ್ನು ನೀಡಿ ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಮೂವತ್ತರಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈಸೂರಿಗೆ ಸ್ಥಳಾಂತರಿಸಿ ಈ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಕಟ್ಟಡಕ್ಕೆ ನಾಲ್ವಡಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರು ಅಡಿಪಾಯ ಹಾಕಿ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯದ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಕ್ಕೆ ನಾಂದಿ ಆಡಿದರು ಅಂದಿನಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯು ಕೇವಲ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಮೂಲಕ ವೈದ್ಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ನೀಡುವುದಲ್ಲದೆ ತನ್ನ ಸಂಯೋಜಿತ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗಳಾದ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಚೆಲುವಾಂಬ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಪಿ ಕೆ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ಕೇರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಪಿ ಕೆ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಜೊತೆಗೂಡಿ ರೋಗಿಗಳ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಗೆ ಆಶಾಕಿರಣವಾಗಿದೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಎಂದೇ ಚಿರಪರಿಚಿತವಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಇತಿಹಾಸಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹಿಂದಿನದು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತಾರರಲ
ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಭಾರತದಲ್ಲೇ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಅತಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಡಿಲಿವರಿ ನಡೆಸುವ ಸರ್ಕಾರಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಎಂಬ ಹೆಗ್ಗಳಿಕೆ ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಚೆಲುವಂಬ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಇದು ಸುಮಾರು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೊಂದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ವಡಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರ ಎರಡನೇ ಸಹೋದರಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದ ರಾಜಕುಮಾರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಮಣಿ ಅವರು ಕೇವಲ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೊಂದನೇ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಯಿಂದ ಮರಣ ಅನಪ್ಪಿದ್ದರು ತದನಂತರವಾಗಿ ರಾಜಕುಮಾರಿಯ ಮೂವರು ಹೆಣ್ಣು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕೂಡ ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಹದಿಮೂರರಲ್ಲಿ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಯಿಂದ ವಿಧಿವಶರಾದರು ಇದರ ನಂತರವಾಗಿ ಈ ಅಂಟು ರೋಗದ ತೀವ್ರತೆಯನ್ನು ಮನಗಂಡ ನಾಲ್ವಡಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರು ಮೈಸೂರಿನ ಹೊರಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಬತ್ತು ಎಕರೆ ಜಾಗವನ್ನು ನೀಡಿ ರಾಜಕುಮಾರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಮಣಿಯವರ ಸ್ಮರಣಾರ್ಥ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣಕ್ಕೆ ಸೂಚಿಸಿದರು ಅಂದಿನಿಂದ ಬೆಳೆದು ಬಂದ ಈ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯು ಇಂದು ನಾನ್ನೂರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಬೆಡ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಯು ಸೌಲಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸಿ ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಡ್ರಗ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟಿ ಬಿ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಒಳಗೊಂಡು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಟಿ ಬಿಗೆ ಮೀಸಲಿಟ್ಟ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗಳೊಂದಾಗಿದೆ ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೈದು ಹದಿನಾರನೇ ಸಾಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಹೆದ್ದಾರಿ ಮಿಷನ್ ಅಪಘಾತಕ್ಕೀಡಾದವರಿಗೆ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಸುಲಭ ಮತ್ತು ವೇಗದ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಯನ್ನು ನೀಡಲು ಹೆದ್ದಾರಿಗಳ ಉದ್ದಕ್ಕೂ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ಕೇರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನಿರ್ಮಿಸುವ ಯೋಜನೆಯನ್ನು ತಂದಿತು ಈ ಕಲ್ಪನೆಯ ಭಾಗವಾಗಿ ಮೂವತ್ತ್ಮೂರು ಕೋಟಿ ವೆಚ್ಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯಾದ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ಕೇರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇಂದು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಸರಿಸುಮಾರು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಸಾವಿರ ಹೊರ ರೋಗಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಮೂರೂವರೆ ಸಾವಿರ ಒಳ ರೋಗಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಹತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ಜನರಿಗೆ ತುರ್ತು ಅಪಘಾತ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಮೂರರಿಂದ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸಾವಿರ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನಡೆಸಬಲ್ಲಷ್ಟು ಸದೃಢವಾಗಿದೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲದರ ಜೊತೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಇರುವ ರೋಗಿಯು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೊರ ಹೋಗುವ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಕಾರಣವೆಂದರೆ ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ನ್ಯೂರಾಲಜಿ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಆಂಕೋ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಸರ್ಜಿಕಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜಿ ಯುರಾಲಜಿ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಂಕಾಲಜಿ ಎಂಡೋಕ್ರೈನಾಲಜಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಕೇವಲ ಖಾಸಗಿ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗೆ ಸೀಮಿತವಾಗಿದ್ದ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೌಲಭ್ಯವನ್ನು ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಕಡಿಮೆ ದರದಲ್ಲಿ ರೋಗಿಗಳಿಗೆ ನೀಡುತ್ತಿರುವುದು ಶ್ಲಾಘನೀಯ ಇವುಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೂಡಿ ದಿನದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಗಂಟೆಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುವ ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ವಿ ಡಿ ಆರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಗಳು ರೋಗಿಗಳ ಸೇವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮದೇ ಆದ ಪಾತ್ರವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತವೆ ಅಂದಿನಿಂದ ಇಂದಿನವರೆಗೂ ಕಾಲೇಜು ನಡೆದು ಬಂದ ರೀತಿಯೇ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೇರಣೆ ಲೆಕ್ಕವಿಲ್ಲದಷ್ಟು ದಕ್ಷ ನುರಿತ ವೈದ್ಯರನ್ನು ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ನೀಡುತ್ತಿರುವುದಲ್ಲದೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟದ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ನೀಡುತ್ತಿರುವುದರಿಂದಲೇ ಇಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯು ನೂರ ಐವತ್ತು ಯು ಜಿ ಹಾಗೂ ನೂರ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೇಳು ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸೀಟುಗಳಿಗೆ ಮೊದಲ ಆದ್ಯತೆಯಾಗಿದೆ ಜೊತೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯು ತನ್ನ ಸಂಯೋಜಿತ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ಕೇವಲ ಮೈಸೂರಿಗೆ ಸೀಮಿತವಾಗಿದೆ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಹಾಸನ ಕೊಡಗು ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ ಚಿಕ್ಕಮಗಳೂರು ಹೀಗೆ ಅದೆಷ್ಟೋ ಕೋಟಿ ಜನರ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಆಧಾರವಾಗಿದೆ ಇಂತಹ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಗಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಇತಿಹಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗಿಯಾಗಲು ಅವಕಾಶ ಸಿಕ್ಕ ನಾವೇ ಧನ್ಯ ಎಂದು ಭಾವಿಸುತ್ತಾ ನಾವು ಅನರ್ಗೆರು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಪೋಷಕರು ಕುಟುಂಬದವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಗೆ ಬೋಧಕ ಹಾಗೂ ಬೋಧಕೇತರ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳಿಗೆ ನಮ್ರತೆಯಿಂದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸುತ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜೈ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಶತಮಾನೋತ್ಸವ ಸಂಭ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಬೆಳೆದು ಬಂದ ರೀತಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಅದರ ಪ್ರಾಮುಖ್ಯತೆಯನ್ನು ನೆನೆಯುವುದು ತುಂಬ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯವೇ ಸರಿ ನಮ್ಮ
I solemnly I pledge myself to <laughs> consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I will give to my teachers the respect and gratitude which is their due. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity. The health of my patients will be my first consideration. I will respect the secrets which are confined in me even after the patient has died. I will maintain by all the means in my power the honor and the noble tradition of the medical profession. I will treat my colleagues with all respect and dignity. I will not permit consideration of religion, nationality, race, party, politics, or social standing to intervene between my duty and my patience. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life from the time of conception. Even under threat, I will not use my medical knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity. I make these promises solemnly, merely, freely, and upon my honor. Respected uh, dignitaries on the dais, our uh, chief guest, chief guest, Sri S. Yes, uh, Kiran Kumar, sir, space scientist and former chairman, Indian Space Research Organization, Bengaluru. Idea. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Nam the presidential speech idiante. So I will carry with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations to each of us as we take this important step into our medical profession. May we carry the principles of the oath with us throughout our lives and continue to uphold the noble tradition of healing and service. Iganamma, Mukhya Atiti Galada, Padma Shri, A.S. Kiran Kumar Ravara, Sanmana Karekrama. Dean Ma'am, Matu Yalla Ganyaru Seri, Sanmana Karekrama, Nedisi Kodali Dare. Nama Mukhya Atiti Galu, Nama Karekrama, the Kendra Bindu. Nama Karekrama, the Mukhya Atiti Galada, Padma Shri, A.S. Kiran Kumar Ravaru, Madi Ruasadane, Apara. Our Asadane Kiruparichi and Idalu, Varuti Dare, Kotresh Server Gushubo there. Indana Karakamada, Mukia Titigaragiru, Padma Shri, Shri A.S. Kiran Kumaran, the Kiruparichani Mamunde. Bartia Bahayakasha Hagu Kagola Vignana Shetri, Kanadiga Kodia Paravadu. His Rotana, Nutana Avish Karanagu showed the Nagala Mulaka. It is the Dushan of Bartha Grigisalon to Maratrete. Adretia Sadeli, Halavaru Meligal Galeve. Adarelli Modala remote sensing Upagravagar Taganta, Baskar Vundagir Bodu. Eretz or the Nalkara, Chandrayana Vundagir Bodu. Mamende Katagir Taganta, Mars arbitrary mission Agir Bodu. Inta Yella, Melugaligaligo, Shri Takiran Kumar Saravaru, Kodigesh Lagania. Ivarus are Dombainura, Ayuat Muru, October Ipatre Rundu, Asana Jilia Alurnali Janustare. Ivaratai Shanta Devi, Tande Malapa. Tande Mulata Vakilo Rutiaro. You are a poor Nesaru, Aluru, Sidin Kiran Kumar. Chicken then the Lukuda Urege, Antarik Shago, Kagola Dege, Hecho Asakti. Manelli, Anna Nodene, Vignan the Pregal Martidru. Sar Dombainura, Arotomba Trelli, Neil Armstrong, Chandra Nadege, Tana, Modal Heje, Taga, or Asakti, Nu Echito. Shikshana Tagna, Narsamara or Shisharagi, National College in Ali, both Visha Deli, BSC Padavi, Bengalur Visha Deli, Masters Padavi. 
ಹಾಗೂ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ಸಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂ ಟೆಕ್ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯುತ್ತಾರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಅಹಮದಾಬಾದ್ನ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆರಂಭಿಸುತ್ತಾರೆ ದೀರ್ಘಕಾಲ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಇವರ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಮೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಭೂಪ್ರದೇಶ ಮಾಪನ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನದಲ್ಲಿತ್ತು ಇವರು ಐವತ್ತಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಮೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಾರ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಪಡಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವು ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಒಂದು ಬಳಸಿರುವುದು ಗಮನಾರ್ಹ ಸಂಗತಿ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಬಾಹ್ಯಾಕಾಶ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಬಹುಶಃ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಘಟ್ಟಗಳಿಗೆ ಇವರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಂದರೆ ತಪ್ಪಾಗಲಾರದು ಇವರ ಒಂದು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಖ್ಯಾತಿ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಒಂದೇ ಉಡ್ಡಯನದಲ್ಲಿ ನೂರ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಉಪಗ್ರಹಗಳನ್ನು ಇವರು ಕಕ್ಷೆಗೆ ಸೇರಿಸ್ತಾರಂತೆ ಭಾರತ ತನ್ನದೇ ಸ್ವದೇಶಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ಒಂದು ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆಯನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಹವಾಮಾನ ಮುನ್ಸೂಚನೆ ರಕ್ಷಣಾ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಮೀನುಗಾರರ ರಕ್ಷಣೆಯಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮನದಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಕೇವಲ ನಾನ್ನೂರೈವತ್ತು ಕೋಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂಗಳನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂಗಳ ಮಂಗಳನ ಅಂಗಳಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇರಿದಂತಹ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಯು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಉಪಗ್ರಹ ಉಡಾವಣೆಗೆ ಇವರು ಐದಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಉಪಕರಣಗಳ ಮುತುವರ್ಜಿಯನ್ನು ವಹಿಸಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಇವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರಿನ ಎಂಬತ್ತೈದಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಗಳನ್ನು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಜರ್ನಲ್ಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂಡಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವರ ಈ ಬೃಹತ್ ಸಾಧನೆಯನ್ನು ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕರಂದು ಭಾರತ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ನಾಗರಿಕ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿಯಾದ ಪದ್ಮಶ್ರೀಯನ್ನು ಇವರಿಗೆ ನೀಡುತ್ತದೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸರ್ಕಾರವು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೂರ ರಾಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸವ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಅದೇ ವರ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರಯ್ಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನೀಡಿ ಗೌರವಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಇನೋವೇಷನ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಯಿಂದ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ರತ್ನ ಲೈಫ್ ಆರ್ ಇನೋವೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ಖ್ಯಾತ ಏರೋಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟಾರಿಕಲ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಯಿಂದ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ವಾನ್ ಕಾರ್ಮನ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೂಡ ದೊರೆಯುತ್ತದೆ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಇನೋವೇಷನ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಯಿಂದ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ರತ್ನ ಲೈಫ್ ಆರ್ ಇನೋವೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ದೊರೆಯುತ್ತದೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಆಂಧ್ರ ಪ್ರದೇಶದ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಸಹ ಜೊತೆ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಜೀವಮಾನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ನೀಡಿ ಗೌರವಿಸಿದೆ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟರ ಇಸ್ರೋ ಜೀವಮಾನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ಕೂಡ ಇವರಿಗೆ ದೊರಕಿದೆ ಮೇ ಮೂರು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತರಂದು ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರವು ಭಾರತ ಹಾಗೂ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತರಿಕ್ಷ ಒಪ್ಪಂದದ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗೆ ಶ್ರೀಯುತರು ನೀಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸಹಕಾರವನ್ನು ಪರಿಗಣಿಸಿ ಅತ್ಯುನ್ನತ ನಾಗರಿಕ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಕಿರಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನೀಡಲಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಅವರ ಅನ್ವೇಷಣೆ ಇಂದಿಗೂ ನಿಂತಿಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಈಗ ಭಾರತ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬೊರೇಟರಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ನ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಇವರು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರಿಂದ ಹದಿನೆಂಟರ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ರೋ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾಗಿಯೂ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿದ್ದರು ಇಂತಹ ಸಾಧಕರು ನಮ್ಮ ಕನ್ನಡಿಗರು ಎನ್ನುವುದೇ ನಮಗೆ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಸಂಗತಿ ಅವರ ಕಾರ್ಯವೈಖರಿ ಪಾಂಡಿತ್ಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪೀಳಿಗೆಗೆ ಆದರ್ಶ ಪ್ರಾಯವಾಗಿದೆ ತಮ್ಮ ನಿರಂತರ ಕೆಲಸದ ನಡುವೆಯೂ ಬಿಡುವು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಪದವಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಸಮಾರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದಿರುವ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹಾಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಅನರ್ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ನ ನೂರ ಐವತ್ತೊಂದು ವೈದ್ಯರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕ ನಮನಗಳನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುತ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಮುಗಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜೈ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಆರ್ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಡೆಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗಣ್ಯರಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಪದ್ಮಶ್ರೀ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರ ಸಾಧನೆಯನ್ನ ಪರಿಚಯವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟ ಕೊಟ್ರೇಶ್ಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈಗ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಷ ಮತ್ತು ಈಗ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಲಾವಣ್ಯ ಮತ್ತು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಅವರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಮುಂದುವರಿಸಿಕೊಡಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ
ಕಡಲು ಗುರಿಯಾಗ ತೀರವ ತಲುಪಲು ಎಂಎಂಸಿ ಹಡಗಲಿ ನಿಂತೆನು ನಾವಿಂದು ವೈದ್ಯರು ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಧನ್ಯರು ಬಂದೂರು ಮೈಸೂರು ಖುಷಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೂರಾರು ಸದಾ ಕಾಲ ಎಂದೆಂದು ಋಣಿಯಾಗಿರು ಹಗಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಸೂರ್ಯನಂತೆ ಇರುಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಚಂದ್ರನಂತೆ ಜೀವಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಜೀವನವ ನೀಡಿದೆ ಹಗಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಸೂರ್ಯನಂತೆ ಇರುಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಚಂದ್ರನಂತೆ ಜೀವಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಜೀವನವ ನೀಡಿದೆ ನಂದ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನಗುವನ್ನು ತರಿಸು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹವನ್ನು ಅರಳಿಸು ನಂದ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನಗುವನ್ನು ತರಿಸು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹವನ್ನು ಅರಳಿಸು ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜರಾಯಿ ಭವನ ವೈದ್ಯರು ಆಗುವ ತಪನ ನನಸ್ಸಾಯಿತು ಈ ದಿನ ಓ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜರಾಯಿ ಭವನ ವೈದ್ಯರು ಆಗುವ ತಪನ ನನಸ್ಸಾಯಿತು ಈ ದಿನ ಐದಾರು ವರ್ಷದ ನೆನಪು ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಪಾಠದ ಹೊಳಪು ನೆನಪಿರಲಿ ಸೋಲು ಗೆಲುವು ಮನಸ್ಸು ನಗುವನ್ನು ತರಿಸು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹವನ್ನು ಅರಳಿಸು ಜೀವಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಜೀವನವ ನೀಡಿದೆ ಹಗಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಸೂರ್ಯನಂತೆ ಇರುಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಚಂದ್ರನಂತೆ ಜೀವಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಜೀವನವ ನೀಡಿದೆ ನಂದ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನಗುವನ್ನು ತರಿಸು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹವನ್ನು ಅರಳಿಸು ನಂದ ಮನಸ್ಸು ನಗುವನ್ನು ತರಿಸು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹವನ್ನು ಅರಳಿಸು
As we gather here today to witness the inauguration of this momentous event, let us reflect on the significance of space exploration and the impact it has on our lives. Padma Shri Aluru S. Kiran Kumar sir's commitment to innovation, excellence, and collaboration has not only shaped the course of space exploration in India, but has also set an example for scientists and engineers around the world. I have no doubt that under his guidance, this event will be resounding success, paving the way for even greater achievements in the years to come. Please join me in welcoming Padma Shri A.S. Kiran Kumar sir for his inaugural speech. Thank you. Nimela Rigona Namaskar Agro. Ivatina Summer Dreams 95th graduation ceremony early. Bando Bagoes of the Kao Kasha Markoti the Kao. Nimigal Rigona Namaskar Agro. Ivatin Diosa Nimo Nima Jeevana the Bando Ati Mukkeva the Gutta Kebertaira. After many years of significant efforts, you have reached a milestone in your life. On this day, all of you need to be congratulated and appreciated for the efforts you have put. My hearty congratulations to each one of you. But on this day, you also need to remember your parents and all the teachers who have made this possible, but for their relentless effort, you would not have been where you are today. So it definitely, you need to remember this and recognize the contribution they have made. In many ways, I can see this medical college, medical fraternity, though I am in the space science arena, is linked to me because Two of my sisters have graduated from this college, and one of my brothers is also a surgeon. And even me, when I was in pre-university in Hassan, I had started the course in pre-university, taking physics, chemistry, biology as a subject with the intention of getting into medicine. But it so happened that that year I had secured highest marks in PCP, highest in Mysore University, but still I was short of completing 16 years on the 1st of October by 22 days. I was born on 22nd October and the rule was you should have completed 16 years on the 1st of October. So on that year, I was not going to get admission to medicine. At that time, I had a desire to study in National College, one of the very well-known colleges in Karnataka. They started physics honors at that time. So I decided one year, let me do physics honors and then go back to medicine. I went to Bangalore, joined this course with H. Narsimaya as the principal there. And also in 1969, we had moon landing by Neil Armstrong. We heard that in the transistor in our hostel room. So the whole scenario changed and I continued my studies in physics honors, then M.Tech in physical engineering from Indian Institute of Science. And in 1975, India put the first Aryabhatta satellite into orbit. And that year, I also got an opportunity to go to Ahmedabad and join my program. And that's how my journey in ISRO started. Actually, if you see what ISRO has done and how it has made a difference to the country, I would like to bring to you a story. You are all very familiar that India got its independence in 1947 when humanity got a new capability. Today, we are all very familiar how disruptive technologies change the way we live our lives. In 1957, humanity got a very distinct capability of going beyond the planet Earth. At that time, 
Americans and Russians were competing with each other to demonstrate who is more powerful and who is mightier. And at that time, India was a fledgling democracy, struggling to provide food, shelter, education to its citizens after centuries of external rule. But we had a great visionary scientist, Dr. Sarabhai, Homi Baba, who were looking at how this capability of going beyond Earth can be used for the benefit of the country. So what Dr. Sarabhai did was, he convinced the government that India should get into space activities. And what was done initially was, in 1963, India conducted its first sounding rocket experiment in Tumba. This is a place in Trivandrum, where in the beach, the priest of the church service had to be used by Dr. Sarabhai to convince the fishermen, you vacate this place and allow us to conduct these experiments, one day the country will benefit. As though what was promised to them was brought into reality, in 1999 onwards, by looking at the color of the ocean in eight different wavelengths, identifying the chlorophyll, and through that the food chain of the fish, it was possible to tell where the fishermen should go in the ocean to catch the fish. In fact, just this act saves to the country between 15 to 20,000 crores a year because the fisherman doesn't have to spend extra fuel, petrol and diesel, and he is also assured of the fish catch. Today, with our navigation satellites, we have gone much ahead. A small battery-operated gadget can be fitted in the boat of the fisherman and this gadget, like your mobile GPS, locates itself in the ocean and also the prospective fishing zone information in terms of latitude, longitude is given as a message and this message is received by the gadget. A mobile in the hands of the fisherman, you all are very familiar, no mobile can get connectivity when it goes beyond few hundred meters from a tower. So when he is in the ocean, no mobile can reach receive signals from the tower. But then this mobile communicates with the gadget. An app in the mobile brings in a video compass mode, points out to the fisherman where he has to go in the ocean for fishing. Not only that, in his mother tongue, it gives him alerts if in the coming days, weather is going to be unbearable, cyclonic storms or sea state roughness is going to be unbearable it gives him alert in his mother tongue. And also many times you would have read our neighboring countries capture these fishermen because they wade into their international waters. Now this mobile also alerts him if he is approaching the international boundaries. So you can see here a technology of launch vehicle taking a satellite into orbit is providing service to a person who does not know reading or writing he is able to carry on his livelihood with this most advanced technology. And it is in fact such application which has made India look very different from rest of the users of space technology. While India is the only country which started space program for civilian application, everybody else started it with military applications in mind. Apart from this, in nine, way back in 1975, India also conducted the world's largest socio-technological experiment of trying to bring in broadcasting communication. Like today we are all familiar with a small set-top box and a quarter meter antenna on our rooftop, we are able to see the broadcasting program. In 1975, only four metros had the privilege of seeing that. At that time, what India did was convinced Americans to allow us to borrow their most advanced technology satellite, move it over Indian longitude, and for one year in 2,400 remote villages of our country, this experiment showcased to the country how space technology can be brought in for effective use of broadcasting, communication, weather monitoring. You also know with our weather monitoring capability, today super cyclones do not result in loss of life because disaster relief agencies are able to evacuate their 
them and save the lives and in this manner what india did was made use of the most advanced technology of launch vehicles and brought self sustainability in the country we have more than four versions of the launch vehicles including a cryogenic engine indigenously realized and while we built all this capability the world is also not stationary it has moved ahead india today is the fifth largest economy aspiring to become third second and first if all of you work i'm sure in your lifetime you will see india by the time we reach 100 years of independence reaching the topmost point and while this has to happen what india is trying to do is india as a country with a capability of using space technology has showcased to the world that you can do many things very differently in fact the way we did our scientific experiments including chandrayaan 1 in 2008 when it was launched man had already landed on the moon a large number of probes had touched on the surface of the moon but still the discovery of water and presence of water molecules on moon the credit goes to chandrayaan 1 which again shows that in the area of science and technology it is never too late you can make a difference you can make things happen very differently by your innovative approaches and a change in a similar manner when the mars mission was done india showcased to the world that with limited resources also you can conduct activities where you can perform interplanetary missions and india actually was at the synergy of all worldly eyes at that point of time in the recent august 24th of last year when we landed our pragyan rover and vikram lander what india demonstrated to the world is again an excellent example of how perseverance and then steadfast purposeful effort can make a difference in the area of technology while you are pushing yourself farther and farther you get many unknown regions many unknown ent areas but then if you are ready to learn if you are ready to correct yourself you will achieve great success today like i said india has become the fifth largest economy growing very fast but then lot of things have changed and the challenges for you is far more than what the earlier generations have faced even if you look at in the area of the health itself if you see probably you all are very familiar how the gadgets we carry are influencing the people and influencing them to such an extent that one of the health hazards it's going to become and just to give you some perspective on this probably you are all very familiar in the first industrialization period india was a colonized country the physical raw material from here whether it is iron ore or cotton went out of this country because the colonials took it out infrastructure established elsewhere converted it into finished products and we were made to consume this again at exorbitant cost but today we are like i said fifth largest economy we have landed on moon we have very effectively dealt with covid situation we have built a digital stack which is breaking the backbone of the credit card system but with all this if i were to ask you the question is the situation any different with respect to raw material going out of this country infrastructure established elsewhere converting it into finished products and we being made to consume that at exorbitant cost probably each one of you will have your own perspective but what i would like to bring to your notice is the following if i were to say what is the physical raw material in the earlier era is replaced by intellectual capability of both those people who stayed in the country and those who went out of the country and huge infrastructures multinational companies making use of this intellectual capability have converted them into finished products and their market is not just india 
it's the entire globe maybe except china china because of certain restrictions it put it may be may dealing with with differently but india and rest of the world is actually in some ways in the control of those who are able to influence you through the gadget you are carrying probably many of you would be aware that the gadget you are carrying is been devised and designed and made to work in such a way suppose somebody were to ask you do you think everybody would have used this gadget the way they are using if they had to pay for all the services they are getting in that and you also know there is no free lunch in this world so what is really happening so the, all that freebies are provided in the mobile to take more and more of your time and through that understand you so that you can be converted into a consumer and today the world is actually in some ways under the grip of this probably i would suggest some of the there is a very interesting book written by nandan nilakeni who was the originator of the uaida the book is known as art of bitfulness where he narrates how internet and mobile etc have grown and how they are actually making you a target a consumer and definitely science and technology all the time goes ahead nobody can stop the progress of science and technology but then what you need to make sure is you make use of the technology tools for your advantage you should be the controller of that usage rather than that device controlling you this is where one of the key aspects you need to understand and today you are also very familiar how world is changing at such rapid pace the pace like humanity in the very early times he had to physically fight with his fellow life life forms for his own survival he devised some simple tools including stones and then he started building bows and arrows and then started controlling those and then when he saw other animals moving faster than him he started domesticating and riding them initially he built all kinds of tools to reduce his physical labor today you have seen huge machines performing them today you have also seen how computers where the first computer probably occupied this entire room and had a capability a fraction of what you carry in your mobile but then constantly humanity is evolving and developing technologies today the gadget you carry contains processing capability which is so enormous that crowdsourcing and then interlinking them is becoming a very significant advantage and in this today's era of uh, rapidly changing technology we have already hit the limits of digital technology we are now looking at quantum technologies for the next generation and in the same way if you look at the challenges what you face you have all decided to dedicate your life to improve the life and the health of the people around you but in many ways i would like to bring to your notice one very important aspect which i am not very certain how many of you spend your time in comprehending if there is something that is available to you 24 by 7 as an individual how much of self awareness you have should it not be one of the key requirements of your own learning for example if you take today we are all very familiar we build lots of robots what do we do in a robot we have a control system actuator sensors and in the memory we write instructions and the controller picks the instructions from the memory passes it on to the actuator to perform the job it is required to do and if you want more and more functions you write more and more instructions so if you take a robot you can say it is a controller sensory organs actuators a memory can we map this function to ourselves i am sure every one of you will easily see the five sensory organs you have is what you are endowed with it is through that you take all inputs from the world and then there is something like an intelligence or a controller which makes use of these inputs 
and learns the process of handling this platform right from your childhood you are mimicking what is happening around you that's why for example if i am born in karnataka i learn kannada if i were born in gujarat i will be learning gujarati because i am trying to mimic what i am hearing i am only hearing the sound but then the controller in me is generating the instruction making use of my sound generating system to create equivalent and then mimic that so today we are actually human beings are in many ways mimicking from nature and finding newer and newer discoveries and it is true in every area so if you look at that the basically we are supposed to be having five karmendriyas five gnanendriyas and an intelligence which is available to us for taking care of this and we learn right from our childhood continuously and we generate our own instruction set and put them in a storage you are all very certain that there is something within you which records everything that is happening in your life what you are seeing what you are hearing it's all there in some memory but then this ability is what is being reproduced by the systems outside and today world is moving when it talks about artificial intelligence is it not mimicking your own intelligence in some way today if you start thinking on these lines you will realize that each one of us is endowed with such tremendous capability and if we are able to comprehend what are those basic capabilities that we have and it is available to us 24 by 7 from birth to death but how much time do we spend in even understanding what we have and this is one of the problems of education in a way but then today when you are looking at health you are also very familiar how these gadgets are being used for influencing and changing the way you behave and it is said hormonal changes taking place inside you is detected by this gadget much ahead of the individual coming to know and if you start thinking about all this you will be able to understand why and how it is happening because the data collected over many decades over across the globe goes into the models and the hugely computational capabilities which are there are using the models and creating predictive solutions today in health sector also if you see india is in a way besieged by these external forces where 24 by 7 health monitoring gadgets are picking up the data of the individuals and these data is going into the predictive models and the prediction is used for even providing actually health service even ignoring many times the doctors and the technicians in the hospitals these are the challenges you are going to face the challenges you are going to face is not easy but only if you make up your mind there is nothing that will prevent you from providing solution in a manner which is befitting and also comprehending how we should not get into another round of colonization where without our own knowledge we become players in that so it is in this context i just wanted to remind many of you that the challenges you are facing beyond today is far more than the challenges you have been facing till today of acquiring this knowledge and skill world is moving at a very fast pace all the intelligence and newer and newer design tools are going to come but if you make sure how you can make use of that tool and you are the user rather than the tool using you then you will achieve success and you will be able to provide to large number of people who may not even comprehend what is happening and it is here that your responsibility increases and your responsibility of not only taking care of your own ability your success and bringing in solutions to india but also ensuring that the world at large actually survives in a more healthier and peaceful manner i'll end my talk with just uh, one more example in fact few of the mbbs graduates who came out of Mang- mysore medical college decided at one point of time they will devote their time for 
actually providing education and health service to the tribal community and in that there is a very important traditional knowledge which exists in this country today while we learn we are all told that the management teaches us that you should maximize the returns of whatever you are doing at any cost but then the traditional knowledge in this land did not believe in that it said that you need to respect all forms of life you need to respect nature and it is only then that humanity can survive on this planet earth and if that has to happen we need to make sure that we provide necessary respect to other life forms and nature i am sure each one of you will make your life not only very healthy but also all those around you also healthy in every aspect so let me take this opportunity to congratulate each one of you and wish you a great success in your life and also remind you of your responsibility thank you we have gathered here today to celebrate a momentous occasion the culmination of years of hard work dedication and determination these degrees represent more than just a culmination of academic achievements they symbolize the beginning of a new chapter the commencement of a lifelong journey dedicated to healing learning and making a positive impact on the world now i call upon dr prashant k and dr prashant rathod to announce the degree recipients Good morning, everyone. I'd like to call Dr. Sangamitra DS, son of Dr. J. Somanna and Sri Mati T. R. Shakuntala from Mysore. A gentle person who always steps up and shoulders responsibility. The snaps he clicks are as hypnotizing as his artwork. Our hundred years logo and the souvenirs are testimonies to his prowess. I would like to invite I would like to invite on stage Dr P Maruti son of Mr M Palani Swami and Mrs Pignana Selvi from Vijayapura sensible person with an attractive persona his liveliness is infective he is revered among his friends for his passion and focus I'd like to invite Dr. Abhishek C, son of Mr. Chandrasekhar P N and Mrs. Yamuna H P, who is from Mysore. He captivates everyone with his infectious smile and bold personality. His daring character is seen through his unwavering commitment to excellence. His dedication inspires admiration and respect from all those who know him. Dr. Abhishek G M, son of Mr. Manjay Gowda and Mrs. Sav- Savita from K R Nagar, Mysore. an outstanding sportsman and a leader abhishek is always the voice of reason in any conversation he is an rjhs player who represented our college in cricket and brought glory to mmc the virat kohli of mmc and the pride of table 1 congratulations next we have dr aditya raj singh son of mr sanjay singh and mrs usha singh from satnya madhya pradesh 
His followers multiply rapidly both outside and inside the exam hall, yet he remains humble without a trace of arrogance. He finds his abode amidst books, marrow and a study hall. He epitomizes the saying, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Next, Dr. Aditya, son of Mr. Uh, Warrant Officer Satyavir Singh, IAF, and Mrs. Latta Singh from Bijnor, Uttar Pradesh. A man of few words but significant action, he is always there to guide and support his friends through thick and thin. A pro basketball player, and beneath his easygoing exterior lies sharp intellect, enhancing his interactions and establishing him as a well rounded individual. Next, we have Dr. Hemad Khan, son of Mr. Ayub Khan and Mrs. Martin Begum, who is from Bihar. His friends say he is a hard worker and a loyal companion, always ready to lend a ear or offer a helping hand. His unwavering dedication and warmth make him truly exceptional. Congratulations. Dr. Akash Kumar, son of Mr. Basavaraj N. and Mrs. Shri Devi from Shahpur Yadgi. He is the epitome of reliability and loyalty, always keeping his word and standing by his friends. His unwavering determination is matched only by his infectious smile, making him a beacon of positivity in any situation. Next, we have Dr. Akshay Rao K, son of, daughter, son of Mr. Radha Krishna K and Mrs. Asha Rao K, who is from Mangalore. Akshay embodies the perfect blend of talent and tactfulness. An avid quizzer, he showcases an unparalleled dedication to hard work. Beyond his impressive accolades, it's his firm yet kind demeanor that cheers up everyone around him. Congratulations. Dr. Alan Kurian, son of Ms. Mr. Kurian AM and Mrs. Valsama from Korikor, Kerala. He is calm and collected, affectionate, charming and reserved with great potential. He carefully considers his actions and knows how to make the right decisions at the opportune moments. His maturity is something that his friends greatly admire. Congratulations! Next, we have Dr. Ambika Ji, daughter of Mr. Gagana H and Mrs. Gangamma K who is from Bangalore. She is remarkably organized with a clear understanding of her desires and unwavering determination in her decisions. She has a subtle sense of humor and her bubbliness shines through making her an exceptional cheerleader, rallying others with the infectious enthusiasm and positivity that she has. Congratulations! Next, Dr. Amulya D.H., daughter of late Hanumantaraj B.H. and Mrs. Sudhata B.H. from Tumkur. Amulya has come a long way since her first year at MMC. She has a thousand-watt smile and is kind enough to light up everyone around her. She is a tough lady powered through life. With her determination, she will certainly shoot for the moon. Next, we have Dr. Anirudh P.J., son of Mr. P. Chandrasekhar and Mrs. Jyotsna from Hyderabad, Telangana. He is intelligent, sincere and a keen observer. He always stands by his words and his commitment and diligence are his most valuable assets. Congratulations! Next, Dr. Anirudh Ramakrishna, son of Dr. Ramakrishna and Dr. Jyotir Mai from Mysore. He is the most rational and methodical individual you will see. He is renowned for stepping up to almost any task, whether it's writing, speaking, event management or academia, athletics and beyond. He is the epitome of a versatile individual, embodying the concept of being a jack of all trades. Our very first CR, Anirudh A.K. Nachi. Congratulations! Next, Dr. Anjali Burgupali, daughter of Sri Harsha Burgupali and Mrs. Kamala Devi D. from Sindhanur Raichur. Anjali stands true to her words and has a steadfast commitment towards her work. She's assertive, disciplined, determined, independent, all with a million dollar smile. She personifies the saying, beauty with brains. Next, Dr. Anjan B, son of Balakrishna Vayan and Mrs. Manjula from Bangalore. He's a lovable person known for his simplicity and a true friend. His art is an ocean of kindness and he's a perfect gentleman. Congratulations. Next, Dr. Aparna Mohan, who is the daughter of Mr. Mohan A.V. and Shamala, Mrs. Shamala M. from Kasagod, Kerala. She possesses intelligence, talent, a kind heart and captivating eyes. Additionally, she demonstrates efficiency and adeptness in her work. Congratulations! Next, Dr. Apurva A., daughter of Mr. Appaji Gowda GT and Mrs. Anuradha K. from Mandya, a compassionate individual who embarks on a journey of self-discovery, continuously striving to enhance herself. A loyal friend with a lively personality, adventurous spirit and a determined yet easy-going activity. Congratulations! Next, we have Dr. Apurva T, daughter of Dr. Krishna Raja T and Doc, Dr. Sita, Ram, Sita Ratna M from Kasakur Kerala. Apurva is a rare blend of kindness and strength, always a goal-oriented person who doesn't stop until she achieves what she's after. 
spreading happiness and positivity to the ones present around her. She has the capacity to overcome any obstacle. Next, Dr. Arvind Nandakumar, son of N. Nandakumar and Mrs. Bindu Vasudevan from Adur, Kerala. Arvind embodies ambition, diligence and intelligence in any, every endeavor he pursues. He is a singer and his passion for exploring new cuisines makes him a true foodie, all while fuel, fueling his desires to explore through travel. Congratulations. Here is our next degree holder, Dr. Arjun B, son of Vasudevan A.V. and Padmavati M.K. Arjun, a visionary and guiding force in our endeavors, he embodies the essence of leadership, brings a dynamic energy to everything we do. He is a cherished friend and an exceptional mentor. He also extends a guiding hand to our juniors, imparting invaluable knowledge with genuine care and unwavering support. We congratulate him on his degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Arpita MS, daughter of Sh Srinivas Murthy and Ratnamma UK from Hassan. She is the caring cornerstone, making life easier with her presence. A diligent hard worker, a proud Navodayan, she embodies resilience and determination. Always with a solution in hand, she selflessly lends a guiding light to those around her. I hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here is our next degree holder, Dr. Astia Irene Francis, daughter of retired commander Raju KK and Dr. Deepa Melvin George from Kannur, Kerala. Don't go by the serious look that she carries. Once you get closer, you have unlocked the crazy kid that's inside. We congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Atulia J, daughter of Janardhan M. Nambiar and Shima J. Nambiar from Kannur. She is the sweetest and most caring friend, one who is up for any adventure, who is always there to listen to you. She is the coolest, caring, talented friend of her. I heartily congratulate her on her degree. Here is our next degree holder, Dr. B. Vidisha, daughter of B. Ishwarnath and Shobarani from Telangana. This adorable lady with a sweet tooth can be easily enticed by ice cream and cupcakes. A genuine Swifty at heart, she is often fine solace in Taylor Swift music. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Bhavana Gopinathan, daughter of Gopinathan M.K. and Smita Gopinathan from Kandur. She is the strong built girl who always stands up for herself, diligently does her work and doesn't back away from teaching others. With multitude of talents, she emerges victorious. I hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here is our next degree holder, Dr. Bhavna V, daughter of K.R. Venkataramana and Ratnamayan from Murbagal. Like an assorted platter of desert, she is an epitome of selflessness, empathy, brains and an exemplary leader. Be it throw ball or volleyball or cricket or carom, she is an ace in all of it. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Bhumika H.K., daughter of Karuneshappa H. and B.V. Mohan Kumari from Kaduri. To the most caring friend, the one who gives life advices and is there for her friends always. Who is impartial and never feels shy to express her opinions. She is daring, caring, straightforward and friend of hers. I congratulate her on her degree. Here is our next degree holder, Dr. Bhumika V, daughter of Venkatesh L and Hemavati V from Bangalore. She is a sweet and kind person, hardworking, intelligent girl with a never give up attitude. She is always there as a support to her friends. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Brijesh Yan, son of Nanjinda Swami Yan and Pushpavati from Mysore. This night owl works behind the screens and takes no credit for his talents. He is a panda with cute heart just like himself. He is a multi-talented and puts others before himself and an amazing musician. I congratulate Dr. Bridget on his degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Chandana P, daughter of Puttaswami ST and Shobha B from Chandapatna. Chattapata Chattapata Anta Sidiyo Pataki, Chandapatana Da Gombe, Matu Kada Kadru, Mansu Matra Amrudu, Cricket Freak and our first year, we hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Charan R, son of Ramesh V and Mangalamma KV from Kolar. He is a charismatic conversationalist. It, his intellect shines through every word, expressing himself with eloquence, with an unwavering pursuit of perfection in all endures. His passion for bikes is palpable. I hereby congratulate him on his degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Chinmay Gajanana Bhatta, son of Gajanana N. Bhatta and Deepa G. Bhatta from Ankola, Uttar Kannada. 
He is a beacon of kindness, radiating positive energy and talent everywhere he treads. With a heart of gold, he is the one you can always count on. Ready to embark on any adventure, he breathes life into every character, captivating audience with his mesmerizing performance. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Chintu Mary Mathai, daughter of Paulos Mathai and Shelby Mathai from Ernakulam. A Kerala kutti with a voice that enchants and eyes that gleam. She is the darling queen, the songbird of spring. She is everyone's pet, loved far and wide. In her presence, all troubles subside. I hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Chiranjeevi Evo, son of Omkar Murthy V and Vijaya GK from Hosdurga. Hemmeya Raitana Maga, Sheru Maru Kattaya Praveena, Kiladi Koko Atagara, Varavasaya Snehita. We congratulate him on his degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Chiranjeevi K, son of Kemparaju H and Sushilamma M from Tumkur. A gym rat who prioritizes both physical fitness and personal style. Permanent member of fashion show team with photographic memory as a god gift. I hereby congratulate him on his degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Dandu Sahiruhi, daughter of Narendra Reti and Chaya Devi from Kadapa, Andhra Pradesh. She is well known to be one of the topper of the batch, but she is always a selfless friend, peaceful teacher, an excellent dancer and a strong independent woman with a heart of little girl. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Here comes our next degree holder, Dr. Darshan C, son of Chandru and Shiva Ma from Chennapatana. The person who is always enthusiastic and finds joy in everything. Spontaneous yet spectacular at his work. I hereby congratulate him on his degree. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Darshan D, son of Dharaneshaya M.S. and Anjanamma B.H. hailing from Vasadurga, embodies a fervent dedication of fitness and passion for sports, innate flair of passion, is a radiant spirit of joy and parallel serenity of Kami nature. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Dhananjay Kumar HR, son of Rajana B and Gangamma. He is a true host and a daring leader with courage as his main strength. The true person who always leads from the front. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Divya Dota, Dr. Srinivas Gaudi and Nalini Devi from Gangavati. A simple, cute looking girl who is a nature lover in its true sense. She is always friend, joy and simple thing. She emanates lively. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Fatima Shamna K. H. Daughter of Abdul Hamid KM and Tahira CA, hailing from Kasar Gobu, Kerala. She is the embodiment of grace and effortlessly guiding across the dance floor with the finest of professional. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Marathi Pratap Reddy, son of Venkata Ramana Reddy and Reddamma from Madanapalli, Andhra Pradesh. He is an avid videographer, photographer, capturing moments, healing, moments of healing and hope. He, pre- he finds solace in his pages of books. He is an athlete caretaker. Congratulations. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Gagan C. Raj, son of Chalavar Raju and Dhanalakshmi C.S. Hailing from Ramnagara. He is a super confident, cheerful guy who can create a beautiful er- environment around him. Congratulations on your degree. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. G. Sudhakar Reddy, son of Subha Reddy and Shankaramma from Kadapa, Andhra Pradesh. He is an active, kind-hearted pet lover. He radiates his energy wherever he goes, explores the new places by traveling. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Ganeshri PL, daughter of PV Lakshmi Narayana Shetty and SR Ranga Lakshmi, hailing from Bengaluru. She embodies a rare trend of leadership power, making her a dynamic force in any setting. Her boundless energy and tricky nature leaves a long-lasting impression wherever she goes. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Gayatri, daughter, daughter of Venkateshan B and Shanti B from Bangalore. She is an absolute gold mine of friendship with heart of kid that will never say no to pampering. She spreads an endless laughter and endless joy. Congratulations on your degree. 
Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Girish Jr., son of Rajshekharaji and Pushpavati. Hailing from Ulbhagal, Kolar, he is a kind-hearted, good human being, always treats his friends with respect. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Gloria Vinoy, daughter of Vinoy Netty Garden and Linda Vinoy from Trisuru, Kerala. She is a smart working, gentle, crazy person, always loves to play chess with several moves ahead. She is steadfast in her actions. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Gopal Krishna B, son of Dr. Basavanna PL and Nagamani BR, hailing from Mysore. He is a multitude of talents and his ability to, ability to connect with people on personal level creates a positive environment. He is a joyful and down to earth person. Congratulations on your degree. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. H.S. Kotresh, son of Siddharamesha and H. Mangala Gauramma from Kudligi, Vijayanagara district. Leader of his own style, spiritual speaker, wonderful musician, orator, singer, well enthusiastic, father of many batchmates during exam times. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Harshavardhan Reddy SVN, son of SV Super Reddy and Mrs. Rupa S. Reddy. Hailing from Bangalore, he is a humble, talkative and expressive boy, tries to achieve perfection in everything he does. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Arshit R., son of Ravi Shankar RL and Neetu Rani KM from Tipturu Tumkur is a smart, kind, empathetic person, cheerful guy, creates a positive environment around him. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Hashita C., daughter of H.T. Chandrasekhar and Dilavati M.H., hailing from Mandya. Most beautiful soul, outspoken, sociable, with a crazy comeback, and a proud Navodian. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Arshita T.M., daughter of T.G. Manjesh and B. Dakshayani from Chamraj Nagara. She is someone who is in straightforward and most competitive person but also had a fun side that most of don't know. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Heman Krishnamurti, son of Dr. Krishnamurti M. Hegde and Rohini K. Hegde. He is a humble, empathetic, sportive person, loves music and plays flute. He is a nightingale of our batch. Congratulations on your degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Hemanthas, son of Sri Shivarajuji and Sri Mati Sharadamaji from Kunigal Tumkur, an ambivert, hardworking individual, skillfully navigating lifestyle, focused on both wealth accumulation and knowledge, he is refreshingly straightforward. Uh, always speaking the truth. Congratulations. Here comes Dr. Janvi MD, daughter of Sri Bairagoda TM Srimati Shashikala, hailing from Chikbalapur. She is a girl with a golden heart, fills everyone's heart and belly with her cooking skill. She is the most dedicated friend who will always be there for her loved ones and take care of everyone. Congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Jyoti Shri P, daughter of Sri Vinod Kartike and Nair and Srimati Prabhudevi TC from Bengal. Kindish person with the biggest heart, ever ready to help and always down for a cup of latte or tea. The next graduate, Dr. K. Mahima Reddy, Dr. of Sri K. Rami Reddy, Srimati Prabhavati, hailing from Balari, a friend who can always count on, who is always there for you, loves cats more than people. Heartly congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. K. Saida Skyabeda Yukta, daughter of Sri K. Ramesh Babu and Dr. K. Jayashri from Hyderabad. Cool, peaceful, smart, who is ever reliable with an engine which runs purely on price, Pepsi, and Bonavita. Congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Kartik Raju, son of Sri Rajiv Srimati Meena Mini Raghavan, hailing from Kerala. He is incredibly, incredibly affectionate, always ready with a hug or a supportive word when you need it the most. His creativity shines through in everything he does. With him, you feel understood, valued, and inspired to embrace our own career. Hearty congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Kausu Besdatta, 
son of A. Komodo, SJS Datta and group captain Sujata Datta from Bengaluru. Smart, cool and collected. An amazing football player but want more on bed and at Bengaluru than on field. Congratulations. The next graduate, Dr. Kavana T. Dr. Shri G. Swami Srimati Sheila J.P. hailing from Jagaluru Daungire. Energetic, jovial and the social butterfly when she is not busy clicking pictures of this guy, you can find her at Sri Ju Center. Heartly congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Kaveri Barki, daughter of Sri Sanna Chaudapa Barki and Sri Mati Nagaratna Barki from Rane Bennur. Even though she had it harder, nothing's ever made her colder. She is the nicest anyone could ever be. She is the swiftest friend of everyone's serendipity. Congratulations. Dr. Kirti Girish Omkar, daughter of Sri Girish Omkar, Sri Mati Madhavi Omkar. Hailing from Bangalore, she is bold, beautiful and brainy and driven to succeed in her career. She is renowned volleyball star of her college. She dominates the court with her skill and passion. Her captivating spite truly really sets her apart. Heartly congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Kinnar Darwada, daughter of Sri Chalapati Danwada and Sri Mati Vasanta Hajibu from Bengaluru. Known affectionately as Ungraced by her friends, Kinnar is the real definition of Zen. She enjoys reading, traveling and exploring different cuisines. Despite her reserved nature, she often cracks some of the funniest jokes. Congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, the Dr. Kiran Albert Lobo, son of Sri Oswald Lobo, Sri Mati Biji Lobo. Hailing from Manglo, he is the epitome of determination and hard work, tackling every challenge with unwavering resolve and the relentless performance of excellence. He, thri he thrives on pushing their limits, embracing obstacles of opportunities for growth and inspiring others for his excellence. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Kiran Gauda CM, son of Sri Nagendra Gauda CV and Sri Mati Ratna BK from Mandya. With a jovial spirit and boundless energy, he tackles each task as a diligent and hardworking individual, never faltering in his determination. Congratulations. Dr. Kiran Basuraj Kamar, son of Sri Basuraj Kamar, Sri Mati Parimada Kamar, hailing from Belgavi, cool, composed, and strategic, always cheerful, and before exam, textbook, and known for his never ending stories with book. Heartly congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Kumar Spurgeon P, son of Sri Sudarshan Jyoti, Sri Mati Aruna Devi, Gangavati Koppal. In the midst of noise, he finds solace in silence. Speaking volumes through, through, through his actions, his caring nature extends to all. He, he leaves every, uh, an excellence in everything he leaves. Congratulations. Here comes the next graduate, Dr. Likit Vai, son of Sri C.L. Yogesh and Sri Mati D.S. Kavita from Mysore. He embraces spirituality with unwavering positivity, propelling him forward at a relentless pace, never yielding to laziness. Congratulations. The next graduate, Dr. Lohit B. Sarnok Sri Limana B. Srimati Shailajo B. Hailing from Gagavati Kopal. His moral code and inner sense of discipline will leave you inspired. The most creative, wise, grounded soul you will find. You will be lucky to call him friend. Heartly congratulations. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. M. Nandan Gowda, son of Sri Munisham Appa and Srimati Padma, hailing from Yalahanka, Bangalore. He is a very reliable friend who is always smiling and a kind person, always finds an easy way out of difficult problems, aspires to become a CTPS surgeon. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give him a huge round of applause. Next we have Dr. Mantesh Piyar, son of Sri Renu. Next, we have Dr. Mantesh PR, son of Sri Renukappa BS and Sri Mati Girija SM, hailing from Asikare Asan. This simple, kind hearted ambivert is very passionate about history and mythology stories. A very silent looking and caring personality who is popularly known as Monty, aspires to become a general physician. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Manjunath Patil, son of Sri Balana Gowda Patil and Sri Mati Vijayalakshmi Patil, hailing from Koppala. A very humble and down to earth person you could meet. He is kind, calm and has a lot of patience. He is one of the very few who doesn't say no to any help asked for. He aspires to become a general physician. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please next, give him a room. Next we have Mohammed Yaya Pasha, son of Mr. Chand Pasha and Mrs. Gausia Begum from Raichur. He appears as lightsome individual that enjoys spending time for himself. He can also provide entertainment for those around him. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Meghna Pranesh Badami, daughter of Dr. Pranesh Badami and Srimati Padmavati Badami, hailing from Bangalore. 
She is intelligent and her unique personality shines through in her innovative ideas and unconventional approach to challenges. She is a three times RGHS player and demonstrates remarkable skill and agility in her game. And sky is never her limit. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Next, we have Dr. Mohak Muju, son of Sri Ranjan Muju and Sri Mati Ritali Muju from Jammu. He is from Jammu who learned Thodasa Kannada, a cheerful person and a caring one. A great pianist, ECG expert, basketball player, hoping his love for medicine cherishes and long for eternity. Popularly known as Sabse Pada Tez intern of his unit, we hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Mohammed Jaseem K, son of Mr. Abdul Majid AK and Mrs. Jamila K, hailing from Kanur, Kerala. His positive energy is contagious. His unwavering loyalty, selflessness and empathy make him an incredible friend. Remained as localite forever. His love for medical emergency ward is eternal. We hereby congratulate him. Next, we have Dr. Mohana Shri V, daughter of Shri Venkatesh and Shri Mati Prema H from Goa Para Channapatna. She is lovely, kind, a beauty with brain, good listener to all your problems, a girl who gives her retro heroine vibes. We hereby congratulate her on a degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Mohita MR, daughter of Sri Ramakrishna BM and Srimati Nagamani MS, hailing from Mudigere Chik Maglur. She is a lovely, kind-hearted, energetic, bold girl and an amazing dancer, ready to help anyone in need, a keen observer and a very creative mind. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Next, we have Dr. Mauna HR, Shri, daughter of Sri Rudrappa HB and Srimati Savita HB, hailing from Alagawadi, Tumkur. Here is a bold graduate, beauty with brains, excelling in her field. Quite opposite to her name, she is an extroverted individual with magnetic personality. For her, operation theatres are her happy place, where she feels most alive and fulfilled. If we hereby congratulate her on her degree, please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Mrityunjaya, son of Sri Sitaya Karburmat and Srimati Kasturi Karburmat, hailing from Bilagi Bagalkote. He possesses a quiet confidence that speaks volumes, often observing before sharing his insightful perspectives. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Next, we have Dr. N. Guru Prasad, son of Sri S. Nagarajan and Srimati P. Bhuvaneshwari, hailing from Mysuru. Me, GP, a person whose life of every gathering with his witty remarks and infectious laughter. But beyond the jokes and laughter, GP is someone who treasures his friendship dearly. We hereby congratulate him on his degree and please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. N. Mohammed Arsalan Hussain, son of Mr. Nazir Ahmed and Mrs. Taseen Taj, hailing from Mool Bagal, Kolar. He is a highly motivated and enthusiastic individual who possesses remarkable ability to foster a positive and engaging work environment. He has got exceptional problem-solving skills and adaptability. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Next, we have Dr. Nagaranda R. S. Bhatt, son of Sri R. N. Shivarama Bhatt and Sri Mati R. Mahalakshmi, hailing from Shringeri, Chikkamangalore. He demonstrates an unwavering commitment to achieving his goals, consistently exceeding expectations. Additionally, his jovial and entertaining nature creates a positive and uplifting environment. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Nagashri Kundar, daughter of Sri K. Raju and Srimati Nagaratna, hailing from Kundapura, Udupi. Personality like a fried cracker, an energetic, dazzling dancer. She is always ready to help others, keeps her surroundings joyful by her graceful nature. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Next, we have Dr. Nagashri A.K., daughter of Sri Kumar K.S. and Srimati Swarnalata M., hailing from Arsikere Asan. Incre incredibly compassionate, always willing to lend her ear and offer support to anyone in need. Natural problem solver with a knack of finding creative solutions to challenges big and small. We hereby congratulate her on her degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Here comes the next degree holder, Dr. Nandish S, son of Sri Siddharaju and Srimati Nirmala, hailing from Hanu, Chamrajnagar. A compassionate and dedicated individual with strong commitment to helping others. He has got budding expertise in psychiatry, strives to create a positive impact on society. Many of us don't know this, he is an excellent palm reader. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Next, we have Dr. Nikhil Pule, son of Sri Mastan Pule and Srimati Lakshmi, hailing from Palki, Bidar. He is known for his calm and collected demeanor, consistently exceeds a positive and energetic disposition. His exceptional character and unwavering commitment to bringing joy to others through his cheerful nature has earned him a reputation as a real, reliable and dependable individual. We hereby congratulate him on his degree. Please give a huge round of applause. Next, we have Dr. Nishtita K.U., daughter of Sri Umapati M.V. and Srimati Gangamma Ji, hailing from Channapatna. 
She is a self-proclaimed foodie, has savoured every culinary adventure from street vendors to fine dining establishments in Mysore. We heartily congratulate her on her degree. Please give a big round of applause. We now have Dr. Om Kumar, son of Sri T.K. Hem Kumar and Sri Mati Suchitra from Bangalore. He is a skilled swimmer and a dedicated athlete, embodying discipline and resilience in both sports and academics. As a good visionary, he sees opportunities where others see challenges. Congratulations. Next, Dr. Pragati B.S., daughter of Sri N. Srinivas and Srimati Leela S. from Nagamangala. She has a cheerful demeanor wherever she goes. She is not afraid to voice her different opinions in social settings, contributing to thought-provoking conversation. Please congratulate on her degree. We now have Dr. Pragna H.D., son of Sri Deepak H.S. and Srimati Veena from Mysore. Bright, determined girl who loves pets more than books. She has a keen eye for learning and never leaves an opportunity unturned. She quotes her perseverance with a smile. Congratulations on your degree. Next, Dr. Pramod Kumar Patil, son of Sri Sugareti Patil and Sri Mati Vijay Lakshmi from Yadagir. Though reserved, he possesses a natural gift for communication. Even a Maunavada Nade Matu Adbuta Vyaktit Vadondike, even a Janara Vaitana Gutta Nindu Namelara Anisike. Please give a big round of applause. We now have Dr. Prashant K, son of Sri Kendagana Swami AP and Sri Mati Veena RB from Mysore. He remains focused on studies and always lends a helping hand to those in need. He has been gifted with melodious voice. Known for his patience and empathy, he approaches everyone with kindness, making them feel valued. Congratulations on your degree. Next, Dr. Prashant Ramesh Rathod, son of Sri Ramesh R. and Srimati Akamaha Devi from Bijapur. His patience, his high stress tolerance, his way of approaching each situation with calmness has allowed him to thrive in the demanding environment of MBBS. Please give a big round of applause on his degree. We now have Dr. Prabalika GR, daughter of Sri Ramesh GR and Srimati Tanuja GS from Sitadurga. She exudes kindness effortlessly, leading with compassion and wisdom. A good leader, she guides with patience and empathy. And when the day winds down, you will often find her immersed in the world of television soaps, her comfort zone. Congratulations on your degree. Next, we have Dr. Prerna B.S. Daughter of Sri Bharat and Srimati Kavita from Gulbarga. She embodies a loving and caring nature, always putting the well being of her loved ones first. An extrovert by nature, she effortlessly spreads positivity and creates a warm atmosphere with her happy mood. Congratulations on your degree. We now have Dr. Priyanka B., daughter of Sri Bharati Dasan and Professor Kalaya Rasi from Bangalore. This pretty lady with her kind hearted nature is not only a trustworthy friend but also a go to therapist for those in need. Always ready to lend a helping hand and provide a compassionate ear. A genuine concern for others makes her a source of comfort. Congratulations! Next, we have Dr. R.P. Namit Chandra, son of Sri Balachandra DR and Sri Mati N. Lata from Bangar Pet Kolar. He is a passionate music lover, finds solace and inspiration in the melody. As a chess champ, he approaches challenge with strategic thinking and calculated moves both in the medical field and on chessboard. Congratulations! We now have Dr. Rakshit H.C., son of Sri H.M. Chandrasekhar and Srimati H.C. Tejaswini from Shirala Koppa Shumoga. He is an avid drummer of Hashtag Band Bros, the band group of our batch. He finds rhythm and harmony not only in music but also in the delicate balance of nature as a dedicated wildlife enthusiast. Congratulations on your degree! Now we have Dr. Rakshita M.S., daughter of Sri Shekarappa M.N. and Srimati Kavita B. from Devarahalli, Davangere. She is a pretty girl with a fashion for dance, expresses herself with grateful, graceful moments that captivates all who watch her. Congratulations on your degree. We now have Dr. S. Abhishek, son of Sri Dodda Basant Nagoda and Sri Mati Parimala from Maski Raichur. He is known for his unique ways of thinking. He is a blend of humility and loyalty. He is renowned for his pro prowess in cricket and harbors a passion for exploring new horizons. Congratulations on your degree. Next, we have Dr. S. Neha, daughter of Sri Rajgopal Ji and Srimati S. C. Ja from Kannur, Kerala. Behind a studious facade lies a hidden talent as a dancer. She prefers to ride bikes over scooters, a true pet lover at art and a cute chechi. Congratulations on your degree. We now have Dr. S. Sukesh, son of Dr. Kesavan Subahasan and Srimati R. Rajeshwari from Bangalore. 
He has sight set on becoming a vascular surgeon driven by passion for intricate procedure and saving lives. In addition to this, he is a skilled boxer, a music critic and a Rubik's Cube national champion. Congratulations on your degree. We now have Dr. Sachin S, son of S.B. Hucha Reddy and Srimati Mamata Vani D.H. from Rampura, Chitra Durga. He is an epitome of versatility, excelling in every sport he played and shining brightly in every cultural event. With his dynamic anchoring skills, he captivates audiences seamlessly, blending charisma with professionalism on stage. Congratulations on your degree. We now have Dr. Sahana S.P., daughter of Sri Prabhakar K.N. and Srimati Priyadarshini V. from Bangalore. She is a shining example of hard work, dedication and has poured countless half hours into her studies and clinical postings to achieve this excellence. Congratulations on your degree. I welcome the next graduate, Dr. Saikil P.S., son of Surya Narayana P.S. and Jailakshmi Diyar from Pavgada Tumkur. His calm demeanor, sharp wit and outstanding abilities make him stand out while his interest in sports and anime add depth to his personality. I guess it's not wrong to call him the dashing star of MMC. Congratulations, Dr. Sayakil. Here comes our next degree holder, Sakshat Shetty, son of Rajashankar Shetty and Manjula R. Shetty from Mangaluru. Graduating with grace, he embodies kindness and humility. He approaches life with patience and perseverance as he believes low and steady wins the race. His role as a public relations officer reflects his ability to connect with people. So hereby we congratulate our graduate. I welcome the next graduate, Dr. Samet Tanga, son of Rajendra Tanga and Anjali. He is a dynamic individual, blending with sharp intellect with an act for unconventional solutions. Time is his most precious asset and he invests wisely, always willing to lend a helping hand to others. Congratulations, Dr. Samet Tanga. Here comes our next graduate, Samriddhi P, daughter of Bhavrao Suryamamshi and Kavita Kamble from Bidar. She radiates warmth with her infectious smiles and bubbly personality. Despite her stature, her presence is larger than life, cap cap captivating everyone around her with charm and positivity. So hereby we congratulate her. I welcome the next graduate, Sandeep Vayar, son of Ramesh Vijay and Sri Devi GT from Angelegere Tumkoru. He is a beacon of selflessness and kindness, a generous person with his contagious uh, sense of humor and unwavering dedication to help others. Here's to Sandeep, Sandeep, a shining example of the power of kindness. Congratulations, Sandeep. Here comes our next graduate, Sangamesh, son of Ganapati and Geeta from Kallur Bidu. Despite his nature, he is known for his high intelligence, better solution finding, and he is a good animator. His creativity has no boundaries. So give a huge round of applause for our graduate. I welcome, I welcome Dr. Sanjana D, doctor, daughter of Dr. Devaraja TM and Dr. Bhagya Bai from Terikere. She is a dedicated individual, unwavering in her pursuits with a determined spirit that drives her forward. A passionate practitioner of yoga, beyond that, her love for sports shines through, particularly in volleyball. Congratulations, Dr. Sanjana. Here comes our next graduate, Sanman Malli, son of Udaya Kumar Malli and Rajiv Malli from Mangaluru. He is known for his kindness and selflessness. Uh, no matter of the circumstances, he maintains a constant smile, facing life's ups and downs with an with a unwavering ease and grace. So hereby, we congratulate the graduate. I welcome Dr. Sarga Sukumaran daughter of Karutara Sukumaran and Sarath Manjusha Mannadi from Koikot, Kerala. She is a perfect example of beauty with veins and a beautiful heart. A person whose contagious smile can brighten up any room, a great daughter, sister and an incredibly supportive friend. She is a compassionate, empathetic. Congratulations, Dr. Sarga. Here comes our next, next graduate, Satabdi Samantare, daughter of Dilip Kumar Samantare and Shepali Jana from Bhubaneswar, Odisha. She's a firecracker, sincere and hardworking girl. She is quick to cry but quicker still to make you smile. She's faster than uh, her namesake and only faster than her shoulder to cry. So, congratulations. I welcome Dr. Satvik H. Gowda, son of K. Honnagiri Gowda and SR Sumarani from Mysore. A footballer with a wicked sense of humor. Behind every goal is his relentless hard work fueled by dedication and determination. At off the pitch, he embodies a gentle and spreading kindness. 
Congratulations, Dr. Satvi Kech Gowda. I welcome Dr. Shraddha Giridharan Acharya, daughter of Giridharan Acharya and Anupama Acharya from Delhi. She is the life of the party. With her infectious energy, she effortlessly unites people wherever she goes. The life she lived in various cities explains her unique outlook on life. Shraddha's adaptability not only helps her thrive but ensures everyone around her to prosper. Congratulations. Here comes our next graduate, Sri Guru Bhatt, son of Bhala Krishna Bhatt and Navaratna from Belatangiri. Already Airavata, Benki and Tanota, gentleman that embodies the essence of kindness and support. He is also famously known as Navilo of MMC. So, give a huge round of applause for Sri Guru Bhatt. I welcome the next graduate, Dr. Shubhada M. Deva, daughter of Marideva H.J. and S. Mamata from Harihara Davangere. A very soft and kind-hearted and a very hard-working person. She is an amazing artist, awesome chef and a music lover. She is extremely patient, mature and friendly. The world needs more people like her. Congratulations, Dr. kitchen. He offers his unwavering support to those in need. Embodying the true essence of compassion and generosity. We congratulate. The next graduate, Dr. Situ Ji Gowda, son of Jogi Gowda and Professor Geeta A.C. from Madhur Mandya. The boy who is kind, humble, talkative, empathetic and a lot more expressive. He tries to achieve every perfection in everything that he does. He is a very good friend, a gym freak and likes to do adventurous activities. Congratulations, Situ Ji Gowda. Here comes our next graduate, Dr. Som Shekhar, son of Chandrakan Patil and Rajeshree from Basava Kalyana, Vidal. He is a beacon of warmth, his heart shines bright, energy is always a favorite inside. Endless stays with friends, never fading away, his expectations he never fails to save. So, congratulations. I welcome the next graduate, Dr. Sonali Pandey, doctor of Vijay Shankar Pandey and Hemalata Pandey from Bangalore. Uttara Bharata Dacha Kannada Dahudigi, with strong academic skills and a sense of responsibility, very disciplined and focused individual. Being a strong NCC candidate, demonstrate her commitment to both personal and social duties. Congratulations, Dr. Sonali. Now, I would like to call daughter of Ganpatra Sutar and Anita Sutar, Dr. Saumyaji from Bidar. She is a true definition of innocence, a gentle, generous person, compassionate and considerate personality. I would like to con congratulate Dr. Somyaji. Now I call Dr. Srishti, daughter of Sri Kumar MC and Srimati Sudamani MC, hailing from Pandavpura, Mandya. She brings a touch of sweetness and warmth in every interaction, effortlessly winning everyone's heart. Heartly congratulations to Dr. Srishti. Now I would like to call Son of Srimati Vijayamala and Sri Pundalika Rao, Dr. Sudarshan from Bidar. He is a great sportsman and all-rounder who can play all single games. He is a cool-headed person and never loses his serenity. I would like to congratulate Dr. Sudarshan. Now I would like to call Dr. Sujit, son of Sri Gola Rathod and Srimati Shashireka, Hailing from Yelagundi Bidar, he is a friendly, cheerful and an effervescent personality, kind and bold and a true gentleman. Heartly congratulations to Dr. Suji. Now, I would like to call son of Srimati Manjula Devi and Sri Radha Krishna, Dr. Sumant Chandramauli ER from Kolar. He is known for his passion in literature and acting, also a cool-minded exceptional decision making and leadership qualities. I would like to congratulate our beloved coach yes, Dr. Suman Chandramauli ER. Here I call upon Dr. Suraj P, son of Sri Rao R. Puttaramu and Srimati Sushila Vega. He is an hardworking soul, passionate about his pursuits and ambitious. He embraces uniqueness diverging from the norms and flourishes in his own way. Heartly congratulations to Dr. Suraj P. Here comes our next degree holder, 
son of Srimati Mary Rosalind Sunita and Sri Suresh Ramakrishna, Dr. Swithin Roy Suresh from Bengaluru. He is a very friendly, optimistic, full-minded person. He is unique of his own kind and has distinctive perspective of his own kind. I would like to congratulate Dr. Swithin Roy Suresh. Now we would like to have Dr. Tankasali Varun, son of Sri N.T. Ramesh and Sri Mati T. Kavita, hailing from Kalyanadurgam, Andhra Pradesh. He is a cool-minded, disciplined and a brainy with exceptional memory. He spreads happiness and posters a friendly atmosphere wherever he goes. A heartly congratulations to Dr. Varun. Our next degree holder is daughter, daughter of Sri Mati Reshma Khanum and Sri Jamil Amar Khan, Dr. Ume Sara. She is an amalgamation of kindness and humility. She is a compassionate who, who always has her heart out to the own ones who need. I would like to congratulate Dr. Ume Sara. Now I would like to call Dr. Vaibhavi P, daughter of Sri Prabhu, Prabhu K N and Srimati Nagamani B N, hailing from Shimoga. She is a cheerful, warm-hearted, friendly person, a multi-talented sportsman on the Coco field. She is a force to behold. We congratulate Dr. Vaibhavi on her degree. Here comes our next graduate, daughter of Srimati Padma P J and Sri Jagadish P S. Dr. Vaishwe P.J. from Chikbalapura. She is a creative, confident, smart, perfectionist, workaholic and an epitome of intelligence. I would like to congratulate Dr. Vaishwe P.J. The next degree holder, Dr. Vamshi Teja Yam, son of Sri Sushen Yam and Sri Mati Ashwini Taraka Devi, hailing from Kurnol, Andhra Pradesh. He is a kind, lovable, reliable person, a skilled basketball player. He is a techie and a gamer. Heartly congratulations to Dr. Vamshi. Here comes our next graduate, son of Srimati Sudhamani and Sri Nagabhushan, Dr. Venugopa. He personifies the essence of a true sportsman, displaying unwavering dedication, of, unwavering dedication to fitness, keen eye to fashion and exemplary leadership qualities. I would like to congratulate Dr. Venugopa. Now we would like to have Dr. Vinay Bhaskar, son of Sri Keshavadu K and Sri Mati Sujata, hailing from Mulabagil Kolar. He is a multi-talented person, an explorer, a foodie, a great cook, big fan of movies and an incredible dancer. Heartly congratulations to Dr. Vinay. Our next graduate graduation is son of Sri Mati Lata HP and Sri Krishnamurti DC, Dr. Vineet K. He is a wise Organized, disciplined, goal oriented, and an absolute gentleman. Loved by everyone and everyone's favorite. I would like to congratulate Dr. Vinit K. Here I call upon the next degree holder, Dr. Vinu Yen, son of Sri Nijalingappa and Sri Mati Uma Devi, hailing from Hiriuru. He is a high spirited, kind person who always tries to look at the bigger picture. He is people smart and a crowd puller and loves to travel and explore the world. Heartly congratulations to Dr. Vinu. Now, I would like to call our next graduate, daughter of Dr. Champa Gadat and Dr. Shivayogi Gadat, doc, Dr. Vinuta S. Gadat from Rani Bennuru. She is a perfect definition of beauty and brain, very warm, fun loving, and comforting person. I would like to congratulate Dr. Vinuta S. Gadat on this occasion. Now we would like to have Dr. Yashit Ji, son of Sri Gopalakrishna A and Sri Mati Geeta SM, hailing from Kushalnagar, Kodago. He is a selfless friend, kind and compassionate, a good listener, epitome of patience, calm in nature, quick learning ability makes him really ex exceptional. Heartly congratulations, Dr. Yashit. Congratulations, guys. I would like to invite on stage son of Mr. Chandrakant Reddy and Mrs. Varsha Reddy, bundle of energy of our class, loves fun a lot. His clever communication skills make him a person who attracts friends. Heartly congratulations. Next, I like to call Dr. Varsha Mahendra, daughter of Dr. Mahendra L and Dr. Kasturi KK from Mysore. She is defined by her, by her composure, her focus and determination go hand in hand. 
she elevates everyone to, to a traditional dimension with her unique voice hearty congratulations dr varsha please give her a huge round of applause i would like to call upon dr tejaswini km daughter of mr mahadevan ks and mrs mahadevama from mysore though she is silent at times her hilarious nature makes her adored friend always shows up with a never give up attitude give her a great round of applause next i'd like to welcome dr navanya mohan daughter of mr m n mohan and mrs shailaja js from mysore perfect blend of maturity and tenacity brightens the room with her charm the melody of her exceptional voice never fails to captivate us hearty congratulations dr lavanya please give her a huge round of applause now i would like to invite dr deepthi sm daughter of mr mahadeva swami pm and mrs pushpalata from mysore cheery jovial girl her enthusiasm is unparalleled and contagious her positive vibes always surrounded with her friends heartily congratulations next up we have dr krithika ji daughter of mrs gullareddy and mrs shrimati anita from bangalore decent introvert girl but extrovert in her is brought out by her friends strong girl with zero haters please give her a huge round of applause next up we have dr kumar sparjan son of sudarshan and 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 aruna now i would like to call upon dr likhit vai son of cl yogesh and kavita next up we have dr lohit son of lingana b and shailaja Good morning everyone. It's truly really an honor to stand before you today and commemorate this special occasion. As a great man once quoted, excellence is never an accident but the result of high intention, sincere effort and intelligent execution. We are now delighted to recognize and honor the outstanding accomplishments of our top achievers who excel in academics and sports and have inspired us throughout these years. Let's begin with Dr. Harshita TM topper in anatomy general medicine general surgery and obstetrics and gynecology who also achieved rghs 10th rank in anatomy and 7th rank in general surgery she will be awarded a cash prize instituted by dr kanta s jadhav in the name of dr marthanda babu for her achievement in anatomy she will also be awarded a cash prize instituted by dr kanta s jadhav in the name of dr na jadhav for her achievement in general medicine and a cash prize instituted by, by dr b k ramu in the name of dr damayanti for her achievement in general surgery and also a cash prize instituted by dr shrimati k ji hamsalata shivaraj in the name of kamana kere hondi venkate gowda gosappa and a cash prize instituted by dr av saroja and dr damayanti 
in the name of Dr. Venkata Pataya and Dr. Paul Good for her achievement in obstetrics and gynecology. We request the sponsors to come up on the stage. We request Shrimati KG Hamsalata Shivaraju to come up on the stage. We request Dr. Sar Dr. A. V. Saroja and Dr. A. V. Gamayati to come up on the floor. We request Dr. A. V. Saroja to come up on the stage. Dr. Vaishvi PJ, topper in physiology, microbiology, and forensic medicine and toxicology, who has also achieved RGHS 10th rank in community medicine. She will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Dr. Damayanti in the name of Puttaraju Aras for her achievement in physiology. We request the sponsors to come up on the stage. We request Dr. Damayanti to come up on the stage. Dr. Mauna H. R., topper in pathology and ophthalmology. She will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Dr. N. M. Srinivas in the name of Dr. Vijaya Srinivas for her achievement in pathology. We request the sponsors to come up on the stage. Dr. Keerthi Girish Homka, topper in biochemistry, she will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Dr. Radha in the name of Dr. Dottanarayanappa for her achievement in biochemistry. We request the sponsors to come up on the stage. Dr. Vinuta Shivayogi Gadar, topper in pharmacology, who also achieved RGHS 7th rank in pediatrics and 9th rank in general surgery. She will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Dr. Sita Lakshmi for her achievement in pharmacology. We request the sponsors to come up on the stage. Dr. Gayatri V, topper in ENT, she will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Marigoda and Marama in the name of Dr. Govinda Gowda for her achievement in ENT. Dr. Dandu Sairuhi, topper in community medicine, who also achieved RGHS 4th rank in the same. She will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Dr. Lingaraju and Dr. Ashwat for her achievement in community medicine. Dr. Meghna Pranesh Badami, topper in anatomy and also achieved RGHS 10th rank in the same. She will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Dr. Kanta S. Jadav in the name of Dr. Martha Babu for her achievement in anatomy. Dr. Meghna Badami deserves a special mention for her speech at 9th International Day of Women's and Girls 
girls in science assemble at the united nations in the new york city as the royal academy of science international trust youth representative to the united nations dr pregna hd topper in pediatrics who also achieved rghs 6 rank in pediatrics Now it's time to announce the overall female and male toppers of the final year. We'd like to call upon Dr. Harshita T M and Dr. Darshan C onto the stage. They will be awarded a cash prize instituted by Sri Srinivasa Murthy in the name of his wife, late Sri Mati Meera Srinivasa Murthy. We request the sponsors to come up on the stage. We request Dr. Srinivasa Murthy to come up on the stage. Now we would like to honor these two individuals for their special contribution to MMC in the field of academics. Dr. Arvind Nandakumar for publishing original research project titled Correlation of Serum LDH, Ferritin and ALP in assessing tumor activity in breast cancer patients, funded by MMCRI and approved by ICMR with short term students. Dr. Arshay Rao participated in unimaginable number of 108 quizzes among notably among Ames Delhi Jipma Bangalore Medical College JSS and Madras Medical College among which he bagged 52 gold medals 52 medals containing 31 gold 13 silver 8 bronze We would like to request all the top achievers to come up on the stage for a group photo. Congratulations once again to our outstanding achievers. May your future be filled with even greater successes and continue to inspire those around you with your remarkable achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now honor those individuals whose dedication, skill and sheer determination have propelled them to the summits of their respective sports. Let's begin with Dr. Om Kumar TH. He's a wonderful athlete and swimmer who represented RJHS in swimming six times during the years 2018 to 2024. Represented RJHS in triathlon and aquathlon in the year 2018 and athletics in the year 2019. He's a well-known international swimmer, represented India in world championship with world rank of 64. He holds a position of being a second fastest Indian open swimmer. and he is also a three time best male swimmer in the university championship with 32 gold 9 silver and 3 bronze medals dr mekna pranish badam represented rghs in basketball twice in the year 2019 and 21 she also represented rghs in handball in 2024 she was also awarded rghs pratibha puraskar for her excellence in public health and education field as a part of the silver jubilee celebration Dr Abhishek JM represented RJHS in cricket and emerged as most successful captain by leading the MMC cricket team to win the zonals and the interzonals for the very first time. He is also represented RJHS in handball twice during the years 2018 and 2024. 
Dr. Sanjana represented RGHS in volleyball in the year 2019. She is a part of MMC volleyball and throwball teams and participated in 12 tournaments, out of which her team backed 11 trophies. Dr. Venugopal represented RGHS in volleyball during the years 2018 at SRM University and he also a part of one of the most successful sports teams of MMC which stood as winning team in the zonals and internal zonals during the years 2018 and 2019 and secured third place in the state level volleyball tournament. Dr. Vaibhavi SP represented RGHS in Coco during the years 2018 and 2019. Dr. Sachin S. represented RJHS in handball during the years 2018, 19 and 24 and was also a part of MMC cricket team which stood as a winning team at Zonals. Dr. Harshita C. represented RJHS and Coco in the year 2018. Dr. Sudarshan represented RGHS in handball during the year 2024. At last but not the least, let's now honor our secretaries who let another. We, we would like to request all the top achievers to come up on the stage for the group photo. Toppers of the academic year. We would like to call all the RGHS achievers for a group photo. At last, but not the least, let's now honor our secretaries who led Anargyas through thick and thin and made us realize that all these years are not just college life, but a beautiful journey. Dr. Arjun V, General Secretary. Dr. Suman Chandra Mauli, ER, Co-General Secretary.
டாக்டர் கானஸ்ரீ பி எல் மேகசைன் செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் ஹெச் எஸ் கொட்ரேஷ் கனடா செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் தனஞ்சய் ஹெச்ஆ ஜெனரல் செக்ரட்டரி ஆஃப் பாய்ஸ் ஹாஸ்டல் டாக்டர் பிரபலிகா ஜி ஆர் ஜெனரல் செக்ரட்டரி ஆஃப் கேர்ள்ஸ் ஹாஸ்டல் டாக்டர் சிண்டு மேரி மேத்யூ கோ ஜெனரல் செக்ரட்டரி ஆஃப் கேர்ள்ஸ் ஹாஸ்டல் டாக்டர் சாக்ஷாத் ஷெட்டி பப்ளிக் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃபீஸர் டாக்டர் சாயக்கில் பி எஸ் கல்ச்சரல் செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் வேணுகோபால் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் வைஷ்வி பி ஜே அகடமிக் செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் சின்மய் கஜானனா பட்டா கோ கல்ச்சுரல் செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் பாவனா பி கோ அகடமிக் செக்ரட்டரி யூ ஹர் அ பிக் ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் அப்ளாஸ் டாக்டர் தர்ஷன் சி என்எஸ்எஸ் செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் சந்தனா பி கோ மேகசைன் செக்ரட்டரி வி ரிக்வெஸ்ட் ஆல் த செக்ரட்டரிஸ் டு கம் அப் ஆன் த ஸ்டேஜ் ஃபார் த குரூப் போட்டோ Please give them a big round of applause. We now request Dr. Arvind and Dr. Lavanya to take over the stage. Mm-hmm. 
Now I request Dr. H. N. Dinesh sir, Professor and Unit Chief, Department of General Surgery, MMC and RI, to gather the, to address the gathering. Hello, Namaskara. Vedi ke mele aasi na rogan ta ganiye re neridiru anta ha bodha ka bodha ke tarah sibandiyo re hago neridiru anta ha illa vidyarthi vidyarthi niye re hago poshak ka bandhu gade. Idi na illa rigu ando santosha daika dina anta head bodo ahi do oror sha makro yauriti kaspatto ora ando palasvati anno na villa ega sakshi karsi deve. Nanagansate, Mundi Saladinda, Oba photographer Nana, stage Malay Pudueco. Parents called the expressions of our Kushi, our Santosha, Danyata Bava, Maga Ato Maglo, our graduation certificate na Esaranta, Ganyarinda, Swicker Stidonta, on the Chanavana, our Kandali, Nordaga, Nimgul Yargo Gotagala, now stage Mali Dantaro, now a movement Nana witness Martha TV. आ वंदु संतोषा आ वंदु धन्यता बावा आई थिंक मुंदी साल दिन दा फोटोग्राफर वो ब्रो मेल गड़े ने इत्तो आ मूवमेंट उन्हों कैप्चर मार्ड बेको अदना औरो लाइफलांग औरा वंदु रूम आ गिर बोधु औरा वंदु कारिया आ स्तड़ा आ गिर बोधु आज स्तड़ा दली आ फोटो इट कोण रहे और यावत्तो दारी तप्पदी for uh, achieving what uh, you dreamt of and what the uh, graduates also dreaming of and and wish you all the best for the, your future also. And as a president of Mysore Medical College Alumni Association, I extend all my heartfelt invitation to all the graduates. Now you have become an alumni, of course, five years back only you are registered and you have become a member of an alumni association. Uh, now, legally, Technically, you have become a member of an alumni association once you become a graduate. I extend my sincere, heartfelt invitation to all of you for the centenary celebration, which is going to happen in the month of September between 21st to 28th. Uh, the dates will be communicated with you with a WhatsApp group and a, uh, a email. I request uh, our uh, Dr. Arjun to pass all the addresses phone number, email of the students or the friends to the Alumni Association office so that we can communicate effectively and we can see you in the month of September. And I wish you all the best. I hope many faces will be back in the our Mysore Medical Campus as a postgraduate. Hopefully a few will come to the surgery department also. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request Dr. Basavanna, sir. Now I request Dr. Basavanna, sir, President of Teachers Association, MMCRI, to address the audience. Namaskara. Vedike Mele Neridrontaga, Ella Gandarege, Pansi, Mate, Igidina, Ishubas, Janzando. Tama, Perdivan Padana, Padana, Padakundra Tunta, Ila, the article again, Nama, both the Kasanga, Paravagi, Rutpurkuagi, Abin in the Stene. Even the Dina, Nama, even the Dina, Nama, Savitana Sipi, Baba Sahib, Ambed Karabara, Jenma Dinadando, Sanketi Kawagi, Tau, Undo, Hassan Madi, Padivana Padana, Padakundri, so Mahan Chetanada. Our own do Darieli, one do Secti, Nimulu, Udba Wagli, and our own do Ashe Dundike, Matome, Nemelago, Shuba Cortene, the Nevado. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's my honor to welcome the Dean and Director of our Mysore Medical College, Dr. K. R. Dakshaini, Madam. Throughout her tenure, she has demonstrated exceptional leadership, vision, and dedication to the advancement of medical education and patient care. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming our Dean Madam to the stage for the presidential address. Thank you. 
ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದಿನೇಶ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಶಿಧರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಮಂತ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಅನರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಅನರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅನರ್ ಗ್ಯಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತು ಒಂದೊಂದು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಮುತ್ತು ವಜ್ರ ವೈಡೂರ್ಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗಳು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಅನರ್ಗ್ಯಗಳು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲೂ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಟಿ ಡೆಕೋರಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಹೈನೆಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಘವ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ ಒಡೆಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ವಾಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಬೆಡೆಡ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಮಿಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಬೆಡೆಡ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗ್ರೋನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಬೆಡ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಬೆಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಬೆಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಚಲುವಾಂಬ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಕೆ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ಕೇರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಮಡ್ರಾಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಡ್ರಾಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಯು ಜಿ ಇನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಕ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೌ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರೂ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಚೀಫ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿಸ್ ಟು ಸೂಪರ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಎರಾ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೈಸೂರು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇದು ಒಂದೇ ನಮಗೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಕರೆಯೋದು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಸಚ್ ಅ ಪುವರ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪುವರ್ ನೀಡಿ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರು ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸರ್ವೈವ್ ಇನ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡೆಸರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನೀವು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಯುವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಮೇ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಪ್ರೌಡ
the position of general secretary is not merely a title but a responsibility a responsibility to advocate for the needs and concerns of our students to foster a sense of unity within our college community and to uphold the values of integrity inclusivity and excellence that define us his dedication to serving others and making a positive impact on the lives of their peers is truly commendable and for that we are deeply grateful without further ado i welcome dr arjun v general secretary to the stage to deliver the vote of thanks a very good day to everyone present here dignitaries on the dais of the dais no eventful day is complete without thanking those behind the curtains and no event in mmc is complete without the guidance support and blessings of the following people i'd like to begin uh, by extending my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest padma shri as kiran kumar sir for gracing our humble event your presence has truly uplifted our spirits today thank you sir secondly i'd like to express my gratitude to dr kr dakshayani ma'am dean and director of mmc and ri for this event would have been impracticable impracticable without her thirdly i would like to thank dr h n dinesh sir president mysore medical college alumni association for his support and guidance throughout our tenure furthermore i would like to thank our beloved dr s chandrashekar sir student welfare officer mmc and ri for his never ending support in all our endeavors also i am grateful to dr shashidhar hp sir secretary mysore medical college alumni association for your direction and dr basavanna pl sir president teachers association mmc and ri for your encouragement thank you sirs also i am grateful to dr cd shrinivas murthy sir honorary president mysore medical college alumni association and senior consultant physician mysore thank you sir i would also like to thank all the staff post graduates and my beloved juniors for their presence today thank you uh, also i would like to thank uh, my dear co uh, secretaries who have helped me in organizing this event uh, in a smooth and flawless fashion and uh, i would also like to thank all my uh, junior secretaries who have helped uh, throughout the tenure also i would like to thank the press for making this event successful uh, and uh, this has been dr arjun v the general secretary batch of 2018 signing off thank you i request all to stand for the national anthem janagana mana adhinayak jay hai bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida uttala vanga hind himachal yamuna ganga uchchal jalati taranga तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे honored guests faculty members proud parents and most importantly the exceptional graduating class of 2018 the batch of anargyas throughout our time here we have been challenged inspired and shaped by the experiences we have shared from late night study sessions to unforgettable friendship each moment has contributed to our growth and development to our teachers and mentors thank you for your guidance and support we are truly grateful to you to our parents and families 
Thank you for your unwavering love and support. Your encouragement has been our driving force and your sacrifices have made this moment possible. Congratulations. Congratulations. May, May our, our futures, futures be bright, our dreams be bold, our and our journey be filled with success and, and fulfillment. fulfillment. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.